the Nigerian Opposition Coalition, CUPP, after receiving credible health intelligence and having researched into the reported planned lifting of the lockdown of Abuja, Lagos, and Ogun State, consulted health experts, conducted a detailed survey, analyzed the pattern of spread since the imposition of the initial lockdown, and reviewed the guidelines for the lifting released by the Presidential Task Force has now come to the conclusion the opposition coalition CUPP reject the decision by President Mohamed Buhari led federal government to leave the lockdown without putting in place measures that can control the growing rate of infections. Nigerians will recall that following the address by the President on the 27th April 2020, we had immediately stated that the opposition received the announcement of the proposed lifting of the lockdown with reservations pending the study and research by our experts. Based on the outcome of the effort, we have come to this unimpeachable conclusion that what Nigeria rather needs now is a national lockdown and not lifting of the partial lockdown. This is fundamental because, like we had highlighted in previous statements, a lockdown on its own without complementary action was not going to achieve much. The statistics of the pandemic today justify this position of ours. Nigeria is one of the countries with least testing capabilities. Fellow countrymen, can you imagine that with all the media noise and volume of money spent, including loans and donations being taken and received left, right, and center by President Buhari government, our dear country, Nigeria, with a population of over 200 million people, have tested only 12,800. And I repeat, 12,800 citizens from 27th February 2020, the day the index coronavirus testing was positive. To date, with an, appro with, to date, with an approximate of over 2,000 infections, while our neighbor, Ghana, with less population, has tested 120,000 people with around the same 2,000 infections. South Africa tested 210,000, Egypt 100,000, Morocco 40,000. And with, the, and with this weak performance of testing only 12,800 since the infection started, how can Nigeria test people when lockdown is lifted with probability of more infections? The NCDC is talking of running out of testing kits and talking of no bed space, even with little case of 2,000 reported infections. Infection of doctors has moved from 40 to over 100 in days, and the president only rem rem remedy is to be watching his TV, be waiting for the news of foreign vaccine to be made because he has no idea or has the capacity to even try to develop home remedies like Senegal and Madagascar. And you want to allow such a man open the gate for people to roam the street because he ruined the economy and squandered the palliative that would have kept people at home. In view of Section 14 of our Constitution, of what use is he being president? apart from issuing a detailed and pre-recorded speech whenever it suits him. The true test of leadership is here, staring us in the face. No money, no economy, no attempt to assemble our doctors and uh, local hub experts to try something. Even those trying to develop local vaccines are not getting federal attention. The president prefers us to wait till our former slave masters develop something as usual. Nigerians, be careful as you come out. Because the worst can happen now, as the health institutions and strategies Buhari put out are weak. And I repeat, are weak. That is why we are not comfortable with the plan to officially open the lockdown and allow people to move in crowd with no capacity to handle the possible fallout. We hereby declare that President Buhari's lifting of the lockdown without complementary action cannot achieve the targeted, targeted aim of revamping the economy as the virus will painfully and unfortunately spread again and thereby force the government to shut down again and this time under that circumstances. Fellow countrymen, we know it is hard, but the APC government led us to this hard spot. They wasted over 10 trillion in revenue and borrowed funds and could not bear the economy. Hence, everybody's pockets went empty within 24 hours of lockdown because the economy was already dead. The little left, they hid under palliative to take it away. It is not our fault that we had leaders who came to change, and indeed, change us into poverty capital of the world. 
broke down our security in all parts of the country and divided us on ethnic and religious ground. But let's not allow them use incompetence in handling our current in, and let us not allow them use incompetence in handling our current health challenge and use it to kill us. We pose the following questions to guide citizens to see where the incompetence of this government is leading the nation. Who will enforce distancing in downfall buses in Lagos, airify buses in Abuja and Maraba? Who will control crowd and enforce social distancing in Balogu market and other large markets? Who will enforce mask wearing among millions of Nigerians in this state who will turn into the streets? Who will provide marks or give money to poor people, illiterate people, and majorities, ETC, for them to be able to buy marks? Who will stop corrupt police officers and other compromised security personnel who will turn to collecting bribes to allow buses overload and for people not wearing masks to go free? Does the NCDC, NCDC have the test centers, kit, and personnel for such pressure that will come with lockdown lifting? The question are legion. Hence, we reject the plan move to allow people to return to the streets when the level of indiscipline, corruption, and desperation to make money is high, while capacity for crowd control and relevant institutions to check made any rise in the spread of the virus are also very weak. We, also, we have also looked at the case of Ghana, Germany, and other jurisdictions that lifted the lockdown earlier. Then they, uh, they lifted the lockdown earlier. Then they should have the, the, the virus infection spikes. Our nation is a nation with weak health infrastructure because the APC did not buy even paracetamol or build any hospital or invest in health research. Hence, prevention of the spread of this virus is our best model. Upon the lifting of the lockdown, people will throw part in large numbers. If some businesses are allowed to open, others will happen to other, what will happen to other uh, closed businesses? How can the surge be controlled? Instead of grandstanding, Government should be bold to tell the people its incapacities and admit its failures, even during the lockdown, and not rely on false optimism to plunge the country into more problems. The, pres the pressure to leave the lockdown was caused by the suffering of the people, and level of poverty caused by a regime quit turned COVID-19 response into another looting jamboree with several billions of dollars spent and nothing tangible reaching the people, which necessitated the pressure from the people to return to work, a move that would be too early and counterproductive. Rethink this, Mr. President. You are not ready for a lockdown lifting. You failed to enforce the last lockdown because you led a police force that have many corrupt officers. You destroyed the economy and frittered away the palliative. Now you want to cover your inability to provide palliative, which would have helped people and businesses to remain at home and shut down. Now you are bowing to the pressure of our people you have visited hunger on and opening the gate for more trouble that will lead to more infection and possible mass deaths. The lessons from the great plague of Marcel of 1720 must not be forgotten. The pressure from the people was due to the failure of government to do the right thing, but pretended to bow to the pressure of the people. This is exactly what this government is doing. Hospitals in Lagos are already overwhelmed and there is shortage of base spaces. Same will soon happen in Kano, FCT, and Boronu, and Gombe. If there is a spike, how will the victims be cared for? When that unfortunate time comes, the president will not remember the economy. The great plague of Marcel is a huge warning to government never to prioritize the economy ahead of human lives and public health. It can be, very, it can be a very costly mistake. Also, Nigerians has at least 113 health workers already infected. It shows that the medical manpower for the fight has already been greatly reduced. The Nigerian Center for Disease Control has within the availability of its resources done its best and commendably too, but has obviously shown that it has been overwhelmed because it does not have the capacity for aggressive testing, contact tracing, isolation, and treatment. The sheer number of figures putting more pressure on NCDC will make the situation more worse. Hence, Lifting the lockdown now will compound the challenges. After extensive investigation and review of information at our disposal, facts show that government have not put in place any sustainable sensitization or proper machinery in motion to curtail the spread of the virus after the lockdown lifting. The Nigerian Center for Disease Control Testing Ability has not been properly strengthened to handle mass infections that will come out from spread if lockdown is lifted.
The enforcement has not improved as men of the police are still collecting bribes to allow the fighters to move on across state or extorting them. The use of mass has not been made legally compulsory to allow for prosecution or punitive actions against the fighters. The parliament, when they, open, when they opened, instead of making law to make the use of face masks mandatory with punitive action for those who refused to wear face masks, only went and approved 850 billion loan for the president to take again and close their chamber and run under their bed. The access to masks by poor people or less privileged who will be trundling public places, buses and markets have not been put in place. And in view of that, we, the opposition, wish to warn that we do not subscribe to nationwide lifting of the lockdown with weak health measures which cannot handle a viral spread.